overall. He coached the previous eight seasons at NJIT. Officials, Ray Steins Jr., Ted Valentine, A.J. Desai, and we're underway. It's Columbia with the first possession. And right off to that. Pretty type offense, and a lot of it's predicated on timing. So, you know, they're going to have to get their game legs back and, you know, especially against a very aggressive uh, Miami team. 14th in defensive two-point field goal percentage, according to KenPom.com through December 26th. Yeah, and especially for a fairly inexperienced de um, team, Miami has done a great job of guys learning their roles on defense. Looking to work against that 2-3 zone. Here's Newton trying to make a play. Murphy with the runner. Score it in the, five. In the first minute. This is Mike Smith on the ball, wears number 12, and they're very pleased with him. The rookie point guard explodes to the goal. Devon Reed clears. Here's Bruce Brown. What a freshman year he has had. The rookie out of Boston wears number 11. Now Jaquan Newton looking to make a play to the goal, and that lob pass didn't connect, and here comes Columbia. So Columbia looking to speed it here in the early going. The long triple is good. Luke Petrosic, the 6'10", 230-pound senior, drains the three, and Columbia's in front 3 nothing. Yeah, and Miami's going to have to really do a good job tonight of guarding that three-point circle because Columbia's going to really look to put it up from five different positions. Reed connects for Miami. Excuse me, Jaquan Newton. Miami attacking defensively and a whistle away from We get out and play on the, on the defensive end against guys that can cut and shoot the ball. Anthony Lawrence in. Two quick fouls on Kamari Murphy. He has to sit down. Smith trying to explode. In the lane, Killingsworth. Bruce Brown corrals the loose ball. Here's Newton. Now Reed. For Brown, this is Newton. Shot clock at 15. Long three ball. Usually running for him, so my uh, Columbia can ill afford to leave him just standing with his feet set in the corners. Mike, you've talked about the importance of both Reed and Jaquan Newton. If they can shoot it well from distance, Miami's going to be a tough club the rest of the way. Absolutely, especially with the way they guard and their, their toughness on the boards. Foul of the rebound actor. Voss is in, a seven foot one, 255 pound senior from St. Cloud Cathedral High School. St. Cloud, Minnesota, two points and less than a rebound. And Ted Valentine, who's here tonight as part of our officiating crew, he had Michigan State and Minnesota last night and reported it was rather cold in Minneapolis. <laughs> from Dewan Ewell. And the one thing Columbia's really not doing a good job of so far in this early in the game is keeping uh, Newton out of the lane. If he gets in the lane, Miami pretty much can get any shot they want. Three-pointer is good again from three-point range for Petrozic, he's got six. Same holds true for, you know, Miami against Smith. If he can get in the lane, they can't really help off the shooters. Make make Smith make shots over the bigger players. I think he'll have a tough time scoring. You talked about the importance of the three-point shot for Columbia. It's, it's, a, it's a big play for them. That's really the best way for them to stay in the game and have a chance to win. You will able to give Miami a three-point lead, but you've got to guard the three-point line if you're the Kings. Deliberate offensively is Columbia. This is Smith. Now ah, Hickman. Smith will pull up. Bruce Brown skying for that rebound and the speed dribble. Lawrence with the open three. And Columbia six under 16 minutes to play. And Columbia six under 16 minutes to play. Here in the first, and a couple of scores to pass on. The Miami Hurricanes football team leading West Virginia 14-7. And a final ACC action. Florida State bounces back to defeat Wake Forest. Kind of got, I think he got a tough call, tough break there, but I'm not a referee, so. Here's Lawrence out deep. Miami four out of five to start the game from the floor. On the interior, he is impossible to stay in front of, so you have to. Almost give him give him a the 10 15 foot shot to stay in front of him, which is tough to do. 
Smith assessed with the personal foul. That's five team fouls already on Columbia. We haven't played five minutes yet. Into the game now is Quinton Adlish, wears number 10 for the Lions. Also in the game is C.J. Davis, wears number five. And Zundu is in. And Mike, last game, four of six from the floor, four of five from the line, 12 points, four rebounds, and a block in 20 very effective minutes for Zundu last week against George Washington. Yeah, he's really played well this season. He gives them a great energy coming off the bench. Gets his hands on a lot of balls, and is, is just a really active guy that uh, Miami relies on a lot coming off the bench just in the front court. Here's Adlish. Now for C.J. Davis. C.J. trying to make a play. Excellent defense at Buka Zundu. Reed down court. Newton. Ooh. Newton with the step back. Luke Petrazic has been involved in this game for Columbia. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a nice player. Uh, could do a lot of different things. He's got good length. Not really a bulky guy, but has really good skill. He can shoot the ball. He's more comfortable on the perimeter than in the post. He does. Foul. Very dangerous. Foul on Patrick Tepe, a 6'10", 220-pound freshman from Queens Grant High School, Matthews, North Carolina. And how about Coach Ankles? He likes to play 10 guys. He says he really hasn't settled on a... On a on the lineup, so he's still trying to feel his way through this personnel. Yeah, he, you know, it's a new team for him, and they have a lot of young guys. I know he wants to get some of those the freshmen uh, ready to go for their league play, which starts up in a couple weeks. Kane struggling with turnovers. They turn it over there. And that's something that's plagued uh, Miami all season, and that's something they're going to really have to tighten up as they go into the league play starting on uh, Saturday. Lawrence with the steal. And the slam for Anthony Lawrence. And playing against a, you know, very good defensive club like Miami, you can't afford to turn the ball over, especially live tur live ball turnovers are, are key. A foul away on Newton to rest, and that'll mean Bruce will move over to that one spot, the uh, point guard spot. Trying to play defense against C.J. Davis. They reverse the ball, and Rodney Hunter in the game. Where's number four? This is Hunter, a Florida native. And he gets the friendly roll. Rodney Hunter from Mariner High School, Cape Coral, Florida. Averages just 2.2 .2 points, but he scores there. And we have just a five-point lead for the Canes as we approach 13 minutes here in the first half. Vasilovic thought about it. Now Lawrence for Brown. Here's Davon Reed. Overshot. And here comes C.J. Davis. So 10 players already in the basketball game for the Columbia Lions. It's a good thing, actually, to get, get guys involved early, get them in the game, so that way you can, you can get your lineup settled and everybody's had a chance to play and you know who to go to. Three-pointer is overshot by Luke Petrazic, and here comes Miami. We're going to build on a five-point lead. Vasilovic can't get the three. Lawrence not... Miami does a great job of attacking, and that's all the more reason why they should be attacking off the dribble instead of settling for early jump shots in their offense. 15 to 8 now. Miami in front, and Columbia throws the basketball. Has two fouls, but he's the guy that kind of makes their offense go, him and, and Big Luke. Seven turnovers already for Columbia. Here's Lawrence looking to take it to the goal. That drives, and he's called for steps. So the Canes, so both teams very loose with the basketball here in the early going. Miami by seven. And we've played nearly eight minutes here in this first half. Says Rodney Hunter, where's number four? A high post for Jeff Kobe. Had a traveling. What do you attribute this to, Mike? Is it time of the year? I mean, it's certainly for Columbia, they've had a 17-day break. So I anticipated they would have some, some growing pains in this first half. But Miami played December 22nd. Why are they struggling with turnovers? Because I, I think they're trying to do a little bit too much on the offensive end. Um, they should just be looking to attack gaps, get the ball to the best shooters. And get the ball into the paint. 15, Columbia 8. 15, Columbia 8. Halftime in the bowl game up in Orlando. The Miami Hurricanes lead West Virginia by a score of 21 to 7. But it's Columbia possession here. And again, a turnover, this time forced by Miami. And 82.4% from the free throw line connects on that one and 
leading the club in field goal percentage, but of course he's played limited minutes. Ten games, just four starts. He averages a little less than 11 minutes. Direction uh, last year winning 25 games. It's definitely a much more attractive place for a basketball player to want to go. Petrazic back in the game, wearing number 33 for Columbia. They play that 2-3 zone very aggressively. Haynes will look to try to get into the gaps. Reed now back for DJ. Now Newton. Newton will pull up. And gets the friendly roll. Jaquan Newton getting the shooter's roll. Has 20 points. And Jaquan Newton, excuse me, has uh, seven. And the Canes have 20 points, leading 20 to 10. Yeah, and if he could do that, make shots off the, off the dribble from three, He's going to be extremely dangerous to play against. Can't get the roll. The follow is good. Postseason championship. Absolutely, especially postseason championship. Absolutely, especially a lot of the, the lesser known tournaments. It gives programs like Columbia a chance, a legitimate chance to win a, win a championship where you get some home games, you kind of build some tradition in your program, and, it, you know, it's been invaluable to a lot of, lot of the better programs. National Invitation Tournament, and tonight... The Columbia Lions, winners of the collegeinsider.com tournament. And then you had Nevada winning the College Basketball Invitational and Old Dominion winning the Vegas 16 tournament. Mm -hmm. All of those are quality programs. All those coaches felt that those postseason championships really have helped their teams this year. Yeah, they have. It, 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 it helps their program more importantly. Columbia scoring on the interior with Jeff Colby. We have a 23 to 12 ball game. Ten minutes to play here in this first half. Here's Dewan Huell. Now for Reed. Reed will pull up. Loose ball. Nice job by Jaquan Newton. But unable to make a good pass. The steal by Quentin Adlish for Columbia. Yeah, he tried to do a little bit too much with that one. I, I like the way that Miami's attacking, though, with the ball screens up high, but they have to be able to settle in for, like, a 10, 15-foot shot that they're going to have wide open, you know, mid-range jump shots. So you got to be able to knock those down as well. Eight points for Luke Petrazic and Columbia hanging in. The Miami lead is just nine. Lawrence to the goal. And Kobe, Kobe has to do a better job of just sliding his feet and making Lawrence make a tough shot. He just let him go right by him there. Adlish looking to make a play. Columbia very patient. This is Jake Killingsworth. Six five freshman from San Carlos. Nice job by Hunter to grab the loose ball and draw a foul. As well as CJ Davis. Cumber wears 32, Davis 5. This is Davis on the ball. Three-pointer. They like to shoot a lot of them, and that one's blocked. Here comes Newton. Down court, Lawrence. Score it. And that's the one thing against Miami. They've got to get out and run, so you got to get back on, on defense. The transition defense is a big, big thing. Eight points for Anthony Lawrence off the bench. Kellingsworth rejected there. Here comes Miami. Newton will try to reset. Lawrence is feeling it. It's off the bench. He has, and, it's, and a lot of it's been done with the defense of getting in the passing lanes, forcing turnovers, and converting on, on the offensive end. Davis. Excellent activity defensively for Lawrence. Almost had the steal. Now the bounce feed, and Lawrence does get a steal. All over the floor defensively is Anthony Lawrence. Here's Reed. Newton thought about the long one. Brings it back out deep. Reed hands back for Newton, 15 of the shot clock. Under eight minutes to play, first half. Miami up by 13, and again, a careless turnover. An issue turning the basketball over. Miami the basketball over. Miami six assists, nine turnovers, but the nine turnovers, Columbia has scored five points off of those, and Columbia has turned it over ten times. They get a score on the interior, that's Killingsworth, and Miami has uh, scored seven points off those. 
turnovers have really been the issue here for both clubs so far. Yeah, they have. And, you know, if Miami, obviously they're playing in a big-time league, and they can't afford to have the ter type of turnovers that they've had. It's one thing to turn the ball over, but they've had careless kind of non-forced turnovers in the, in the first half. And you talked about the element that coaches talk about all over the country, which is teams cannot afford live ball turnovers, and a nice idea there. Couldn't finish. Here comes Columbia, and a whistle and a foul. But the live... Rodney Hunter showing some speed going to the goal, but he's not a great free throw shooter, and he misses a pair. He's shooting it under 67%. And the Canes have the ball, looking to add to an 11-point lead, but they turn it over again. That's their 10th turnover. Down court, Hunter. All turnover. Leads to two points, and, the, you know, those are just unforced, careless plays. And Coach, I don't think is very happy right now. Coach Laris, coaches have, Coach Laris, coaches have to deal with all of these distractions for players, right? Yeah, they do, and, and guess what? They open up ACC play on Saturday, so that might be part of it as well. Uh, but, you know, you, you're out here and playing. They have, great, you know, very good players. They can't, just can't play carelessly. Vasinovic answers with a three. And the lead back to 12. And let's see if they can make a, a defensive stop. As again, Columbia very deliberate on the offensive end. Killingsworth, now Petrozic. Now they play two real big guys. And losing the ball on the interior is Connor. 18 lead. Columbia has committed nine team fouls. Miami has committed six team fouls. And each team has turned the basketball over 11 times. Yeah, uh, as far as the turnovers go, it hasn't been a great game played, but I expect Miami to get better and better as the game goes, as they turn it over again. Turn it over again, <laughs> that's their 12. <laughs> Columbia has shown quick hands to the ball defensively. Looking to make a play, and converting is C.J. Davis, the 6'2 sophomore from Far Rockaway, New York. C.J. Davis scores. And, you know, you've got to give, give Columbia some credit as well. They've done a great job having active hands. Uh, Coach Angles has a nice game plan, and they've done, they've done a nice job. Vasilovich for three. That's short. Connor Voss with the rebound for... Columbia, here comes C.J. Davis, who has helped them off the bench. And I'll tell you what, Lawrence has done a great So you've got the two big guys in there at the same time, Dewan Ewell and Ibuka Zundu. Mm -hmm. Columbia also playing two big five men. This is Pani Yotu, he'll pull up and hit. Andrew Patioto, native of Australia, cuts the lead to eight with 4.23 to play in the first half. And Columbia's done a nice job of just hanging in there, making some timely shots. And, you know, they're not an easy team to play against on either end of the court. They've done a nice job of just running their offense. Brown pulls up. C.J. Davis, down court Killingsworth. Underneath is Voss. Blocked there beautifully by Dewan Hugh. Here's Brown on the attack. For Reed. He hits. He connects from three-point range. And Miami up 33 to 22. Davon Reed has seven points. And that three came off of a nice attack by Brown that sucked in the defense and a nice kick out. Bruce Brown skying for that rebound. Miami, 11 points off of those turnovers, and that's really been the uh, the issue for Miami here in this first half. But I also think the opponent deserves some credit. This 2-3 zone has been pretty active for Columbia. It has, and, you know, I think Miami's doing a decent job of attacking. I'd like to see them get somebody around the foul line area. Player in this game. He has, and, uh, and, the, and the best thing about him tonight is his defense has been tremendous. He's really gotten things going. Free throws have been a bit of an issue. Miami now 5 of 9 from the line. Columbia very deliberate, very perimeter-oriented. Three-pointer Quentin Adlish 
And the rebound action is last touch by D.J. Vasilovich. They're not afraid to go to the bench. Uh, I'll give Coach Engels a lot of credit. I talked with him before the game, Mike, and I gave him a lot of credit for being able to deal with 15 divergent personalities in today's world of uh, college basketball. Yeah. It's not easy to have that many guys on the roster. No, it's not. And, and, the, and the one thing is he's keeping guys – engaged by playing a lot of different guys. So everybody basically gets an opportunity to show what they can do. And if they can produce, they're going to play more minutes. And the one guy that's produced for Columbia is Luke Petrosic. He's got 10 points, and he has been Columbia's best player. Yeah, he's a nice player. He can do a lot of different things. Reed for three. And hits. Davon Reed has 10 points. And the Hurricanes, despite their struggles with turnovers, have a 12-point lead as we approach Two minutes to play here in this first half. And any time they've attacked a gap with a guy in the corner, they've gotten great looks because the Columbia defense is going to overhelp. Patrick Tepe scores with the jump hook. Part of that cast of thousands for the Lions. Miami looking for a deliberate possession here. Brown with the shot clock at 10. Now Reed for Brown. He'll take the step back. And hit it. Bruce Brown drains the triple. And Miami has 39 points at a 13-point lead. Once again, they, they attack the gaps. they got two guys to play the ball, and they kick to the open shooter. Score it and a foul for Columbia. They'll have a nice impact, especially in the Ivy League this year. Azundu has to leave with his second personal, Dewan Ewell, back in. To pay at the line, comes off the bench, averages 4.7 points and five rebounds, but not a great free throw shooter at 50%, and he misses that one. So despite the turnovers, Mike, the Hurricanes are closing in on 40 points in the yeah. first half. It just shows you how explosive they are. They have not played well, and yet they're still closing in on 40 points. Absolutely. If you give them another, what, three or four possessions, well, they're going to score at half of them, so that's another, you know, a real challenging time tonight. I, I think, frankly, I give credit to Coach Engels and his staff because I know that Jaquan Newton was a focal point of their defensive game plan. Absolutely. And, he, and, you know, Jaquan has kind of put himself in some tough positions by playing around with the ball. And he hasn't been his sharp self tonight. But, you know, I, I expect a, a different player coming out of the halftime. Here comes Columbia. Trailing by 11. We're under a minute to play here in the half. Killingsworth has it out deep. The big fellow, Luke Petrazek, the high post, setting the screen. Killingsworth lost it, got it back. Adlish will take the three and hit it. Quentin Adlish, the Arroyo Grande, California native, drains a triple, and we've got an eight-point lead with less than 30 seconds to play in the half for Miami. And basically, Miami just left the guy. They went for a steal, and you can't leave any of these guys wide open because they all can shoot the ball. Let's see what the Canes run here. Game clock at 10 now, the shot clock off. Newton going to penetrate. Will pull up. And hit it. Newton. Killingsworth at the horn. Shot won't go, and that's the end. Get the ball into the middle. And that's the end. Get the ball into the middle of the paint and then make plays from there. We're underway here in the second half. This is Mike Smith, the 5'11 freshman point guard from Burr Ridge, Illinois. Where's number 12? He explodes to the goal. Underneath Kobe, shot is blocked. Gets it back, and excellent defense, Kamari Murphy on the interior. And that's where you can see the athleticism of Miami. It's in the Ivy League, Kobe's scoring that against uh, Huell and, and Kamari Murphy. It's definitely not an easy basket, and those guys make you pay if you make a mistake. No question. That's, that's a real difference talent-wise between uh, the mid-major level and the power conference level. Here's Newton. He hits. Maybe that'll get Jaquan going. Jaquan Newton drains the triple. That's a good way for the Canes to start. Jaquan has 12 points. Uh, Miami, a 13-point advantage. And I expect Newton to have a, a nice half uh, coming off. You know, for him, a subpar half. But I'm sure Coach maybe gave him a little bit of a pep talk. I expect big things. Good defense on that possession for Miami. And here comes Reed. Now for Murphy. Murphy takes it strong to the goal. Stays with it on the interior. 
But Luke Petrosic has been involved in this basketball game for Columbia and down court and the Lions with possession. Yeah, he's, a, he's a very good player on, on both ends of the court. Knows, knows how to play. Here's Hickman, the leading scorer, who's been held in check. Nice feed to Kobe. And he lays it in. And, and Hickman made a really heady play there himself, getting into the paint, finding the, the Kobe cutting to the basket for an easy basket. Newton trying to make a play and connects. Jaquan Newton with 14 points and the first two scores for Miami here in the second half. And down court, Mike Smith connects. And Mike Smith didn't play much in the first half. I expect him to have a pretty good half here. They need him to produce if they, uh, they want to have a chance, Columbia, to win the game. Newton seemingly playing with more focus and energy here. Has five quick points to begin the half for the Kings. Shot clock at 10 as Newton has it. The lob for Brown, and he sends it in. Wow! And any, any time Newton can get into the paint like that, you have to focus on the ball, and that's where the cutting Brown, the back cut, is very effective, especially a guy with the 6'9 wingspan with hops like the way he does have. Again, a 13-point lead. Miami is Swift Smith to the goal. He basket for himself, and that's going to be there. Smith will pull up, and we have a foul away. First on the team with 17-16 to play in the contest. Nice feed on the interior, and a heady play. Nice cut there by Luke Petrosic, and he scores. And Petrosic has 12 points to lead the Columbia Lions, and they settle into that 2-3 zone, but they extend off that zone. Murphy. From Brown, now Newton. Shot clock under 10. Newton with the jumper. Petrasek with the rebound. Mike Smith looking to make a play. Now Killingsworth the open jumper and hits. Killingsworth the wide open three. And Columbia cuts the lead to eight. And Mike Smith made a great play there, drawing the defense in. And that's what, you know, in transition, Miami needs to look to do as well. Draw the defense and then look for kicks to guys spotting up for easy shots. 5-0 run, Columbia. Brown to the goal. Underneath, Murphy draws a foul. And three of his rebounds late in the game to really help the Hurricanes survive against George Washington. Makes one out of two. He's got a single point in the game, but they need his effort and energy on the backboards he's the leading rebounder averages seven rebounds a game does kamari murphy absolutely and they, and they have to do a good job of a better job of fighting him along the base 49 columbia 40 ted sarandis alongside the coach mike jarvis the second and mike columbia has outscored the canes nine to eight here in the early going of this second half of play and here's kobe to the goal make it 11 to eight scored in a foul and, and there they were. It was. Probably. And Coach Angles drew one up there. It's great to see. I'm impressed with what Columbia has done tonight. That three point play by Kobe cuts the lead to six. It was as much as 13. And a lot of basketball to be played. The Kings are going to have to buckle down here. And I'll tell you what. Columbia's defense is making Miami play a little bit further away from the basket than they would normally play against most teams that play zone. They're doing a nice job. Brown penetration. Ball is loose. Battled for. Loose again and picked up there by Mike Smith. Columbia can close to within three with a three. They get it underneath for Kobe and he connects on the interior. And Kobe's having quite a homecoming. He's playing great tonight. Uh, getting great position around the basket, finishing. And, you know. Columbia has cut the 13-point Miami lead down to four at 49 to 45. And the, and the one thing Columbia's done uh, a little bit differently offensively since they have Smith in the game is really put the pressure on the Miami defense to get back and they're getting some easier shots. Lawrence breaks the run, has 10 points off the bench in Miami by six. Hickman, 
it's been fairly quiet for Miami, but Kobe has had a very strong second half. Jeff Kobe wears number one, the 6'8", 220-pound senior from Pembroke Pines, Florida. Now there he is on the low block. Excellent defense, Miami. Ball on the floor. Held ball. Possession leading at Louisville, 40 to 25. Bit of a surprise there. Yeah, especially you know, UVA is a, a good team, but they, they usually don't put up the points like that. On the road. Jaquan Newton now for Murphy. Lost it. And the quick hands and the steal by Columbia. Here's Smith. Hickman all the way. Draws the foul. Late in the game last week against George Washington. And late in the second half. Substitutions. Patrick Tape is in. Where's number three? And Quentin Adlish returns for Columbia. Where's number 10? A four-point lead, Miami, as Lawrence hands for Reed. Reed pulls up. Can't get the runner to drop. Rodney Hunter skies for the rebound. Down court, this is C.J. Davis for the Columbia Lions. Davis with a nice move. Shot blocked there by Uzundu. That's a great play. Uzundu gives him nice energy and athleticism. Newton made a terrific play to wrestle that ball away from the defense, but he stepped on the end line. So yeah. again, a turnover. Yeah, they're just a little bit careless today. I mean, they've had a nice, really nice preseason, but this isn't the Miami team that, that I've seen play in the last couple of games. So, And a lot of that has to do with the way Columbia's playing as well. Columbia has really guarded, and in the second half, they've Executed their offense. Very deliberate, very perimeter oriented. This is Petrosic with the runner, and he gets the roll. Petrosic scores. He has 14, and it's a two point ball game with 12.50 to play. Yeah, Columbia's played I mean, extremely well, and Petrosic can score with either hand, natural lefty, but there just made a nice play. Newton to the goal, draws a foul. And a steal with five assists. And he can't get that one to drop. And the lead is three with 12.40 to play in the game. Nice cut. And the Canes got a break that time. Newton coast to coast. And Out of bounds. Columbia ball. In the, uh, and on that, because Zundu was running the lane and running for a layup there. So somebody has to be outside. And that was actually the right pass. Bruce Brown will get a rest. And the lineup is now Newton, Reed, and two big guys, Murphy and Izundu. Ball is loose on the floor, Izundu. Down court, Reed. Sends it in. Gaylon Reed has 12. He's the third Miami player in double figures. And the lead is 5, 54 49 for the Hurricanes. Petrosic. It'll weave now for Adlers. Back for Petrosic. They guard him, and he's called for pushing off. Luke Petrosic called for pushing off. It's 54 seconds to play. 54, Columbia 49. Columbia's outscored Miami 18 13 here in the second half. And the Canes with possession. Three men in double figures, Newton 15, Reed 12, Lawrence 10, but 13 assists, 15 turnovers. Azundu on the interior, connects. Azundu with six. And Miami did a nice job of there, screening against the zone and attacking the basket, and I think that's what they could do a lot more of. Jumper by Hunter won't go, and Davon Reed grabs it. Down court for Newton. Let's see if the Canes continue to attack the goal. Instead, a long jumper is no good, but Lawrence with the deep rebound. Uzundu in traffic. Trying to stay with it on the interior, can't connect. And Kobe clears for Columbia. Smith with the step back. Play getting a little bit wild, and here comes Newton. Newton will drive in. 
Ozundu staying with it on the interior, a held ball possession. One on the court, so they, they need to, they don't have a wide open shot, there's no need to rush. In the Big East, perhaps an upset brewing with 3.50 to play, it's DePaul 56 and Villanova 55. Villanova one of six unbeaten teams in college basketball. Hickman's shot is locked, and, and Murphy not court. And Devon Reed, his defense has just been tremendous all season. He's locked down another guy. Hickman's, the, you know, the second leading scorer, but he's made him basically ineffective as far as scoring the basketball. No question about it. Devon Reed has played another superb defensive basketball game. Newton, shot clock under 10 to the goal. Instead, a foul in the lane on Columbia, Miami. Luke Petrazic is back in. Chris McCumber to the bench for Coach Jim Engels' club. And I have to really give Jim Engels and his staff a lot of credit, Mike. Yeah, the Columbia staff that. has done a really good job with their preparation, and their guys have responded. They yeah. have. The goal is Hunter. Lost it. Got it back. Now Hickman. Hickman's been a non-factor in the game, and yet Columbia's right there, training by just seven. Smith to the goal. Score the goal for Smith. In for Petrozic. They don't want Petrozic to draw another foul. So the lead just five, a tenuous five from Miami with nine and a half to play in the game. Newton now for Reed. He'll pull up. And hit. Big time jump shot. Davon Reed. 14 points for Davon. But the speed dribble down court. Hunter misses. Big rebound. Kamari Murphy down court. Lawrence. Here's Reed. Has to catch back up with it. Knocked out of bounds by 9-10 to play in the game. Miami 58, Columbia 51. And basically, that, that may be a little payback because, uh, you know, I think the referees missed a call on the last play. Referees are human. <laughs> Some people think so. Kobe misses the short jumper from the base and a big rebound, Kamari Murphy. Here's Newton. Trying to use a ball screen from Azundu. Now Kamari Murphy to the goal, laying up and in. First field goal for Kamari has three. And the Canes lead is nine, 60 to 51. Eight and a half to play in the game. 12 6 run now for Miami. Smith pulls up for the jumper and hits. Mike Smith with the jumper and a quick eight of 16. But Columbia, right, but Columbia right there with them. They've had uh, three more shots from the field. They're 9 of 19. Luke Petrasek with 14 points. Jeff Kobe with 11. The Canes have three men at double figures, led by Jaquan Newton's 15. And let's see if they can continue to attack the goal here as opposed to settle for jump shots. Columbia has only turned the ball over the Miami miscues. Shot clock under 10. Bruce Brown, middle of the floor. Gets to the rim, lost it, loose, another turnover Miami. Ties him up. For that, can, that does a lot of different things, and he's a winner, and he knows how to make big plays. No question about it. But he didn't give up on the play after losing the ball. Now Columbia comes out with a trapping defense. Bit of a different look. Here's Reed trying to get to the goal. Now Vasilovich for three. Murphy just missed the follow. And Patrick Tepe with the rebound. And the one thing Coach Angles has done, he's, he's shown Miami different looks defensively just to keep him a little bit off balance, which is uh, it's done a great job. Hunter. Now for Adlesh. Canes could use a defensive stop here. They get it down low for Patrick Tepe, working against Izundu and is able to score over Izundu. Patrick Tepe from the low block, and it's a five-point Miami lead under seven minutes to play in the game. And, they, and, you know, Columbia's done a nice job, but they've also been able to give their better, or I guess guys that used to play a lot, of, usually play a lot of minutes a little bit. Shot clock at 30, 6.53 to play in the game. Miami leading 60-55. to 55. Murphy deep for Reed. Score. Davon Reed has 16 points, none bigger than those two. Yeah, he, he's had a knack this season for making the right 
play at the right time and just give and keep Miami in a nice little advantage there. Kobe has worked very effectively from both the high post and the low post, wearing number one. Now Smith, the point guard. Kobe working the lane. Davon Reed always seems to be around loose balls. Yeah, he, he, he's done a great job, and, you know, he's, he's going to be a big key to their success this season uh, on both ends of the court. In the league, there's no question. Davon Reed's intangibles with his defense and his ability to grab loose balls. Shot clock at 11 as Brown has it. Now is Undu. Reed will pull up. Here comes Columbia. Speed dribble Hickman. Hickman has been under control. He's been contained in this game and a big defensive stop by Emmett. And, and Miami players did a great job there not fouling, swinging down to try to block the shot, just staying between the, you know, Hickman in the basket and trying to make him make a just a, a circus shot there is great. So the Canes going small here in essence, four wings and one big man in Murphy. Shot clock under 10. And that's where they have to get the ball then the attack. And I'd like to see uh, Lawrence attack the basket more than shoot a little fadeaway there. Newton, Davon Reed, 10 for Anthony Lawrence, Jr. And Columbia led by Luke Petrasic with 14 points and Kobe with 11. Second free throw is good for Newton. He's the leading scorer in the contest at 17. And Miami is back to a nine-point lead as we approach five minutes remaining in the contest. Miami on a 6 nothing run. Kobe for Smith. Two-man game. Kobe gets free and lays it in. Nice two-man game, Smith and Kobe. I'll tell you what, Smith is a, a nice little point guard for uh, Columbia. He's going to be around for another three years after this, so I, I really like what he does and what he brings to the table. Smith, the 5'11 freshman from Burr Ridge, Illinois. Newton with the pull-up. Can't get the roll of the tip in there by Kamari Murphy. Murphy with five points and a big tip in there to extend the Canes lead to nine. Can Miami continue to make plays on the defensive end and a foul on the interior on Miami? Team to play. And a nine-point Miami lead, Columbia possession. Smith running the club for Hunter, now Petrasic. Petrasic to the goal, draws a foul. He'll shoot two and, and a steal. Petrasic will go again. Make it 16 points for Luke Petrasic. Nate Hickman back. Make it 16 points for Luke Petrasic. Nate Hickman back in, wears 22. He replaces Quentin Adlish. And the Miami lead is 66-59 with 3.56 to play in the game. Good to have you with us here at the Watsco Center. Final non-conference game of the season for Miami. Ted Sarandis and the coach. Mike Jarvis the second. Keep possession here, Mike. It's Brown to the goal. And an acrobatic score for Bruce Brown. Yeah, great drive there as he just attacked the gap. Nobody, nobody came in to help, so he just kept going and scored the bucket. Seven points for Brown and a nine-point lead for Miami. And the block there. What a block. Down court is Newton to the goal. And I thought he got a nine-point Miami lead with 325 to play in the game. Miami's committed 17 fouls. Columbia's committed just five. The runner in the lane, no good. But a hand in the cylinder lead. Mike Smith in the game has eight points. Eight and points. Again, a seven point lead for Miami. And uh, Mike Smith doing a nice job for Columbia. He is. He's got eight points and zero turnovers in, in a, against a really good defensive team. Newton long jumper. He hits. Jaquan Newton has 20 points in the contest. Miami a 10 point lead. Blocking foul underneath. Second one good. C.J. Davis. Davis back in the game. 
replacing Hunter. Hunter leaves with five points. Nine point Miami lead and now Columbia extending with some man pressure. And Newton deliberately gets the ball into the front court. Lyra Murphy gonna come out and set a ball screen. Shot clock under 10, Reed with it. Reed explodes to the goal and scores. It's knocked to the floor, but Reed has 18 points and the lead back to 11. And again, Reed makes big plays at the right time. And Mike Smith in double figures has 10. And the lead is down to nine with 2.14 to play. So it's a three possession game and Hickman bumping Davon Reed, no whistle there. Brown to the goal and he I yeah, thought the defense uh, initiated that contact. There. Yeah, I think so, too. But like you said, the referee's a human. That's it. <laughs> Columbia with a chance to creep a little closer. And no turnovers in 19 minutes of playing time. Yeah, and it, the one thing he does is he puts pressure on the opposing defense. But the way he has really done a nice but the way he has really done a nice job on both ends here in this game not over seven point lead for Miami and Columbia extends defensively the big fella Petrasic on Newton Canes have got to be careful with the basketball and look to get to the free throw line and they're just going to settle in kind of go for one shot here just take their time a little ball screen action I'm sure at the end of the play Newton will pull up Follows his own missed shot. Hands underneath for Brown, draws a foul. Miami, a nine-point lead with a minute 23 to play in the contest. Can't get that one to drop. And, of course, I jinxed him, so I'm sorry, Bruce. The announcer's jinx. Not the <laughs> first time that's happened. Nate Hickman grabs the rebound to the goal. Strong, good defense. Excuse me, yeah, uh, an eight-point lead, not a nine-point lead. Petrasic. Has been Columbia's best player. He has. Now Hickman, who Reed has really held in check. And he draws a foul on Reed, so he'll shoot toward. Hickman will go again. Makes one out of two. C.J. Davis back in the game, replacing Rodney Hunter. Columbia going all court pressure now. Miami a seven-point lead, 106 left in the game. Lawrence makes the catch. And draws a foul on C.J. Davis. That's the pen just kind of getting them going in the first half. Did a great job of getting the passing leads. Misses the front end of the one-on-one, -on -one, leaving the door open for Columbia. Less than a minute to play in the game. Kobe out deep. He'll take the step back. Not a great shot, and Bruce Brown rebounds. And Columbia has the foul right now to extend the game. Newton is fouled with 41.6 seconds left. That's the ninth. Maybe there's a little clock issue. Or they're the waiting to see if it was offensive interference, but they score the goal. Nine-point lead Miami, 37 seconds left. Big defensive stop and the rebound for Bruce Brown. Now for Reed, throws for Newton. Newton will drive all the way in and draw a foul. Ooh. So it'll be two shots and the ball for Miami, and that effectively is going to seal it. His fourth, the ninth on the team, but he played the man and not the ball for an intentional net effectively is going to seal it for the Canes. Yeah, and, and this is uh, probably not as sharp as Miami wanted to play today, but it's a good game, I think, kind of get them ready and get the focus uh, on to Saturday as they get ready for NC State. Columbia is not going to foul now. We're in the final 10 seconds. Fans rising to give the Canes a round of applause, and we count it down. Horn sounds. This game is over, and Miami wins it by a score.